hello good day and welcome to my channel now i have a question on circle geometry it says find angle x below now i'll advise you to pause this video and try to see if you can find angle x on your own and then after that play the video to the very end and see if you got it right please let me know what you got in the comment section below all right, back to our video, the video now. Let's look at this, the question. We have a line E, A, F. E, A, F. This line E, A, F is a tangent to this circle. A tangent is an external line that touches a circle. So a line E, A, F is a tangent. And then we have this line A, D as a chord in the circle so this line ad now if you look at this ad very well it makes an angle with the tangent this tangent line here so this called ad makes an angle with the tangent and if you also look at this called ad it is a part a line of a triangle in the circle so look at this triangle a b d this called AD is a line in the triangle. So this AD that makes an angle with the tangent is also a line in this triangle ABD. Now there's a theorem that we're going to use to find the angle that we have here. Now let's make a small illustration there now. If you look at this, I can make a small triangle here now. And then draw something like this. Now let's call this triangle A, B, C. If this is triangle A, B, C, then this uh, angle A here has this side A. This side B, C here, this side B, C has this angle A. Similarly, this side A, C has angle B here. And at the same time, this line AB or this side AB has this angle C. So I can call this C and I'll call this B. So if you look at it very well, you see that each of the line has an angle which is opposite to that line. So this line has this angle, this line has this angle, and this line has this angle. So with this rule, with, with this style here, this principle, you also agree with me that this line AD has this angle 35 in this triangle that we have in the circle here so this triangle a b d if you look at the chord a d this chord now it has this angle 35 so the theorem to apply here is that the angle that this chord makes with the tangent the angle that this chord makes with the tangent will be equal to the angle that this same line mix in the triangle that it formed in the circle so this line ad here now has this angle 35 and this angle 35 will also be equal to the angle that the chord makes with the tangent so this place is 35 and what is the theorem applied there the theorem applied is that angle in alternate segments are equal so this angle here that the chord makes here is in alternate segment with this 35 so they are both equal so i hope that part is clear now moving on let's look at this angle a c e so this triangle a c e if you look at this triangle a c e we we'll agree that this angle here can be obtained by using angle in the same segment please angle in the same segment is not the same as angle in alternate segment the theorem we just apply here now is angle in alternate segment but the one we want to apply in getting this is angle in the same segment they are not the same alternate segments and then the same segment so now if you look at this line a d now or let's look at this point a and d point a and D from this point D you have a line going to the circumference B 
you also have another line from A going to the circumference B and they both make angle 35 at that point B on the circumference of the circle. Similarly, from the same point, so don't forget the trick is that they must come from the same point. So from the same point A and D, we have another two set of lines moving to the circumference at C and then from A it goes to C. So look at it very well from D to B, from A to B, it makes angle 35. Similarly, from D to C and from A to C, that's from the same two points, we have another line making an angle at the circumference. So you agree with me that this angle will also be 35 like this one. Why is that? The theorem is that they are angled in the same segment. So this angle and this angle are in the same segment. So the trick to use in understanding the same segment is that when they come from the same point, and then one goes to the circumference to form an angle, another set of lines go to another part of the circumference to form an angle, those two angles will be the same. They are angled in the same, at the same segment, so angle in the same segment, provided they are, they are, that the pairs of lines are coming from the same point. So this is 35, this will also be 35. Now let's look at this triangle now, this complete triangle. This angle here, I'm going to call it angle A, this full angle here, I'll call it angle A. So if you are looking at these three angles, that is angle A, angle 44, and this angle 35, in this triangle ACE, you will agree with me that the sum of the three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So A plus 44 plus 35 sum up to 180 because sum of angle in a triangle is equal to 180 so this angle a this 44 and the 35 i have here in this triangle ace add up to 180 so from there we can obtain the value of a as equal to 180 minus 44 and then minus 35 when these two values here, positive value, when they move to the right hand side, they change the sign to negative values. So finally, I have A is equal to 180 minus 44 will give us 136. 136 minus 35 will give us 101. 101 degrees. So this complete angle A here is 101. But you agree with me that this full angle A is made up of angle X and angle 35. Angle X and angle 35. So that means to say angle X plus angle 35 is equal to angle A. And angle A is 101. So from there we can obtain the value of our X as equal to 101 minus 35. And that will finally give us x is equal to 101 minus 35 is 66 degrees. And that's the value of x. So please don't forget to like this video, ask your question in the comment section, or if you have any contribution, give it to me in the comment section. And please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.